Welcome everybody, it's me Sharon with Salon Innovations and welcome to our Salon Innovations Sexy Hair Facebook Live. Now I know some of you have done some really creative things to get together tonight to get this great information that we're going to be sharing with you this evening. We're going to discuss a few things. First, we're going to talk all about the June 1099 sale, how to prepare for it, and learn all about some of the new style sexy products that we brought in this April and a new one that's coming in June. And on top of that, 10 wonderful ways to connect with the male customer. Now I have a real treat for you this evening, and that is international sexy hair artist, Kelly Balletto. Now she is here in the house with me, and I have had the pleasure of working with her for, I think, what, 10 years? 10 years I've worked with Kelly. And it's been really fun to watch her grow and change, and I know that you're going to feel um, inspired after spending some time with her. So let's begin talking all about the sale. So, of course, in June, every single sexy hair product that's in the salon is going to be able to be bought by the customer for $10.99. So this is a tremendous opportunity for you to share all of your knowledge and your passion about this great band, uh, brand. Also, we want to make certain that you pass on that great savings to them and then increase your sexy hair sales. Now, to make sure that this is a successful sale, pre pre preparation is really important. So here are some of the simple ways to achieve this. Make certain to order enough of your top products. I cannot stress this enough. If you think about it, of all the products that you have, you wanna make certain that you have your top five sexy, sexy hair products in your salon and you never wanna run out of it. A great way to do this is to go and look at last year's sale numbers and increase it, especially if you're going for a great goal. Next, Challenge yourself to a bottle per day goal. This is so simple. Just recommend and sell one more bottle a day. Now imagine what would happen to your retail, retail sales if you increased it by one bottle each, or if you sold five more bottles over last year. We're talking about huge revenue. Another great way to create um, a goal is a 10% retail goal based on your service sales. So let's kind of break this down a little bit. So let's say that your salon is going for a $10,000 record week. Your goal is going to be 10%. That would be $1,000 that you want to set as a goal for you and your whole team to be able to move that many bottles out the door. Once you um, set that goal, you want to be able to break it down to a bottle per day goal. So that way, each and every day, you all know exactly how many bottles you want to move out. Now, out on the Salon Innovations Resource Center, we have a wonderful little area that's called the planning section. And this is where you're gonna be able to find a goal setting chart and a tracking sheet for bottles per day. And finally, I want you to see a way that you can make this really fun. So Salon Innovations has worked really hard with Sexy Hair and we came up with a really cool game. And it's called the Cal California Road Trip. Now, if you look at this, this is a game board and you're gonna get this in your mailing, your salon mailing, along with all of these great posters that you see behind me. And you wanna make certain that when you look this over, there are a couple features that, that you wanna really be aware of. The first is, is that we wanna make certain that we're placing this in an area where, where your staff can have really easy access to it, all right? Next, this is how you play, first and foremost, you want to decide as a whole team what the prize is going to be. Then each one of you, each player is going to pick a little picture here and you cut them out, you put your name on the back and you put on a piece of tape. Now, as you begin, you want to put everything up on start here. Now, another really cool feature about this game is that as you go along, you're going to see that we have pro tips all the way throughout. Now this is some really great product knowledge and some wonderful ways to be able to connect some of the top sexy products to the customer sitting in your chair. Every time you sell a product, you get to move a game piece up along the board. And the, of course, the first person who gets to the finish line wins the prize that you've all chosen in your salon. Also, I wanna share another great opportunity with you. We have come up with a national giveaway raffle now the national giveaway raffle is really easy. The instructions I'm gonna go over right now, but first I wanna make certain that you understand that down here in the corner of this game board is a star, all right? And that is where your raffle number is gonna be. 
So here's how you want to make certain that you can participate in this. You want to make certain that you are all on Salon Innovations Facebook page. Then you want to mark your calendars because Salon Innovations will post two winning numbers on their Facebook page every Monday all the way throughout June. If the raffle number that we have posted out there matches your game board, your salon is a winner. And guess what you're all going to receive? We are giving away to the winning salons 10 of these beautiful sexy hair pro dryers to every winning salon that's out there. 10 of these. Now let's talk about how you claim those prizes. So first, you want to make certain that you take a photo of the winning raffle number. Remember, that's in the star at the bottom of your game board. You submit the photo in one of two ways. You can either send it to marketing at salonannovations.com or you just send it to us via Facebook Messenger. And then we will review the submissions and coordinate the shipping to, of your prizes um, through email or Facebook. The official rules can be found on salonannovations.com under um, Hot Topics. Now, uh, now that we've gone over all of these details and everything to get you ready for your sale, I really want to make certain that we're moving forward with some amazing education. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Kelly. Kelly is renowned for her um, multifaceted talents. She is an expert in extensions, cutting, formal styles, razor cutting, and barbering. She owns her own salon in the um, beautiful city of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. With a desire to excel in men's grooming, in 2014, she decided to go back into school to receive her barbering license. Kelly um, places a really high value on the opportunities that she's had in traveling all around the world with sexy hair as an international artist, and she is inspired to help create positive changes in our industry. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to Kelly Boletto. Hey, Kelly. Thank you. Hello, all my friends. Thank you so much for having me. You guys are great. I have some really good looking models over here to play um, some hair with with you guys. But first and foremost, Sharon, thank you so much. And Salon Innovations, Innovations, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Um, my passion is sharing information and um, really branding sexy hair and how fantastic this, this company is. Uh, the power of the product is amazing. And this is such a great opportunity to really launch this um, the contest that you have going on, but also this amazing sale. So I can't even do sales like that. So you guys are going to be stealing some of my customers. So just so you know, you're welcome. But first and foremost, let's get into some new products. So I'm going to bring up my first beautiful model who is gorgeous, the most fun curly hair ever. And she's going to help me share some information with you guys about our new cream to powder play. So this just launched re recently and I actually don't even have it in my company yet. So you guys are getting it way before me. So I'm a little bit jealous. Um, but what this is, is 100% more volume from roots to ends. So you can add it at your regrowth. You could expand this all over to get that big fro. It's great for upstyling. I love it expanding braids and just really putting some texture into our looks. But it's super simple to use. So what we're going to do, well, Missy, don't be mad at me for not prepping this and taking the wrapper off. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're gonna squeeze a little bit out and a little bit goes a very long way. And so what we do, add just a little bit of amount. We're gonna emulsify this into our hands and you place it exactly where you want the volume. So what does a curly girl usually need? More volume at the roots, right? Yeah? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the roots. Mm -hmm. So usually we tend to see more of that triangular look and what they're missing is that ump through the top. So what we're gonna do is just massage it in and watch the hair grow. Getting bigger and bigger. Now, if I wanted to, I could expand this through the bottom and really rough it up. If we want, we can add some more and we can go all over. One of my favorite things to do, and you guys might see her just flip up and flip down, but can you flip over? This is what I do on my hair a lot, just because my hair is so fine. And I like to really get in at the roots and expand and go ahead and flip back over for us. Now that is some big, sexy hair. 
So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I need some comments. So give me some thumbs up or like this is my favorite emoji. Yeah, give me some of those. Anyone? I'm not gonna stop until they give me one. Did I get one? Oh, you got one. Yay! Woo! Okay, cool. Just wanna make sure you guys are paying attention out there because this is important information. Now, she is going to be in, where are we right now? We're in Michigan, but are you in Wisconsin? Yep. So she's gonna be coming into one of your storefronts and buying everything in the Curly Sexy Hair Regimen. So make sure you guys stock up here in Wisconsin and look for this girl. Awesome, thank you so much. Perfect. Okay, so I am a barber, like Sharon said. Um, I went back to school a few years ago just because I love doing men's hair. I'm like really good at it. My brother is military and he trained me, it felt like at gunpoint, to cut men's hair. So what I really enjoy is teaching gentlemen how to style. Um, I feel like, don't get mad at me guys, but you've been raised like being told what to do your whole life. I think we all were, right? You know, we all had parents or grandparents that raised us and always, you know, pick up your shoes or brush your teeth or comb your hair. So a guy just wants to be told what to do. He's not the mind reader and he's gonna tell you that all day, every day. So with that being said, conversation is huge when it comes to men's business. And I think making things a little bit easier for them is really important too. So one of the things that I'm really excited about is how we have these new products that are made just for men. And it actually says it right there at the top of the bottle. So Style Sexy is really great so that you can gear it towards men or women. But when we have these products that are strictly for men, it makes them feel special and all warm and cozy inside so with that our first product that we're launching which I think just happened in April with you guys um, is our four-in-one hair body face and beard wash so what I love about this it has a great fragrant fragrance very energizing removes all the impurities off the scalp and product residue it's very gentle it's very moisturizing you know when I'm trying to recommend this product to one of my gentlemen um, really gearing towards putting it in their gym bag actually I want them to take more than one home so they can have one at home and the gym bag um, but really great for travel too and it's one bottle it has everything you need so we actually prepped my next model with this how did you like sit down how did you like the fragrance i liked it a lot he liked it a lot <laughs> i didn't pay him to say that i promise but for real you liked it yeah were you energized uh definitely okay good it's just just making sure so what i did is i went ahead and i prepped um with some not so hard up gel on his hair but what I want to talk to you about is finishing with our convertible cream so convertible cream is the shine of a five and the hold of a five it's a forming cream it's easily reshapable to texture and restyle um, what I really love about it is it has a natural shine so I know matte was really huge last year um, but now we're seeing just more of that effortless natural looks even though we know every man needs to have a product in their hair otherwise i mean it's just hair it doesn't have the style right right yeah he doesn't <laughs> know what i'm talking about. it's fine okay so with that being said we're using convertible cream shine of a five hold of a five as you can see it's really easily to spread in the hand we're going to emulsify it in and we're actually going to rake it through his hand hair so here's my thought. Um, another little piece of advice. Can you throw me a towel? Another piece of advice I want to share with you is put the product in their hands. Um, I think that the senses are really important to trigger whenever you're trying to talk to somebody about how to take their look home. And I keep saying that because we're not trying to sell anything. We're teaching our customers, and that's all there is to it. So can I totally make you nervous and make you do your own hair? Sure. All right, so you're just going to take, how much would you normally take? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> like that. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm good with that. Why don't you all show right. the camera? Just hold it up how much you use. Perfect. So you're going to put it in your hands like so. All right, all right and then I want you to make this. Okay, like, don't give me, yeah, hard fingers, all okay? Right. And that's how you're going to rake it in your hair. All right, you cool you guys do that too this is what I do get stiff with the fingers because these go ahead go ahead and do it these are natural texturizers and when you're rubbing it through and you're creating like some grip and tension you're creating static electricity you're getting it I love that he's on the top of the hair but don't forget you have hair on the sides 
and the back. Comb that bad boy down. See? So now he's touching it. He's smelling it. He, you know, he's got a feel and he's really working it through. I have already tackled into so many different senses of his. Of his. Do you like the feel of it? Yeah. Yeah, is that something that you think you would use at home? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. So one thing I'm gonna say is what you did use, and I know you'll look in the mirror when we're finished. He mm -hmm. didn't use a lot. Do you guys agree? Somebody put their hand up. Give me an emoji if you think that he needs more. Cause oh, I wow. look like, yeah, thumbs up. Up here, he doesn't have enough. It's, and this is what I call product fallout. And usually product fallout is when a guy just doesn't use enough. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more and I'm really gonna focus on the front of your hair to add that product in there. What do you guys think? Do you like him? Is he sexy? Yeah? Do we get a whistle? Yep. Okay, Sharon's whistling, that's all that matters. Perfect, all right, let me see you from the front. Cool, very sexy, I like it. So that's convertible cream, again in June, 10.99. Thank you. Okay, so next we have, I'm actually really excited about this next one. Um, I felt like this was something missing. We have a great wax in our regimen, but I felt like we were missing something that's just a little bit heavier and more classic for barbering. Why don't we go ahead, come on up, bud. So, like I said, um, beards are huge. And I think men are, are going towards um, finding more of a pomade. And so this is a huge word in the industry right now. And, you know, I think back at like, um, like more of a dapper look, um, you know, more wet looks, but not having wet hair. And that's where a really good water wax comes into play. And so we launched Polished Up Pomade, which is the hold of an eight and the shine of a nine. So that's amazing hold, it's amazing shine, but I feel like it's not too much for the hair. Um, I feel like, you know, last year, was very mad and we're just switching gears right now. I know me and my girlfriend, we were looking in the Vogue magazine um, at the beginning of this year and one of the looks that was out there is all these wet looks. Like literally Vogue had people just with wet hair on the runway, which I loved, but also it's just something that's about to be trending. So with that being said, we're gonna use a lot of this polished up pomade so you can see what it's like as we layer more and more on. So with this being said, um, we're gonna take a small amount, emulsify it, it's already clear so you're not gonna see, and we're gonna start raking it through the hair. We're gonna go forwards, we're gonna go backwards, forward, we're gonna go to the sides, and the back as well. So imagine if I wanted him to look, you know, with a mohawk, we've got the shine and the hold of a nine, it's going to be able to stand straight up. But what I want is more of the dapper look. So I'm gonna actually show him how to comb this through. He is growing his hair out and he has an amazing colic back here. So what better product to use than something that has that high shine, high hold to manage those, those colics. And we're gonna get into some different things about men's cutting and how to give like that per perfect consultation and to really win a guy over in just a second. But one thing is making sure we take care of those colics. So let me see you from the front. See, and I feel like he needs more. Who agrees? Yeah, okay, Sharon said yes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some more and we're just gonna add more shine and more hold to really manage his look. This is great to use in wet hair or dry hair. It's manageable. We can still mess around with it throughout the day so we can switch from day to night if we want and have some mobility. It's not gonna be stuck into place but I do prefer brushing it through. So what happens if, you know, once they're done and maybe they feel like their beard is dry or dull, you can use some on, well, isn't this convenient that he has a beard too? And we'll put some more on that as well. But it really helps condition the beard, gives it a nice shine, a nice hold, and helps smooth down because beards need moisture too. If they're not really conditioning, conditioning at home, then they're gonna be flaky, it's gonna get crusty looking. And so having a nice product and a good beard brush to work it through 
is always a plus. And it's a two in one. You got one for your hair and then you got one for the beard as well. So it's perfect. How do you like that fragrance? Good. Good? It smells good. It smells good? Yep. Awesome. That's a win. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. Okay, so let's talk. I'm gonna actually use you. Come on back. Right? Yep, because we were talking about this earlier and he's just, I like him. So we're just gonna go ahead. Not that I don't like you. Um, but we're gonna talk to you about conversations with gentlemen and how to give the best customer experience to your gentlemen. Now, like I said earlier, it is all about conversation and it's really stepping outside your box and being comfortable and making him comfortable. Um, most men have a picture in their phone of exactly what they want. Do you have a picture in the phone of a haircut uh, that you're leaning towards? My own haircut. <laughs> your own haircut? So you show people what you want to look like whenever you go get your haircut. Yep. At Great Clips, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, perfect. So with that being said, always ask for a picture. Guys know what they want to look like. It's a matter if you ask them and bring the best out of them. So one thing I'm going to look at is the first number one thing to do is really hone in on the head shape and find out where all the bones are in the head so that you know where to take this haircut. Where's the parietal ridge, you know, which is the widest point of his head. And it's also a transition where the hair grows. Where's his occipital bone? Because whenever you're creating a fade or a taper, the occipital bone is really gonna help you with blending. And um, you know, if you're using blades or guards, it just helps you with blending out any lines of demarcation. So knowing the head shape is really important. The face shape. Like you don't wanna create a really super rounded haircut on somebody that has a really round face. They're just gonna look like, you know, a circle. And vice versa, if they're really squared off, if we square off their haircut too much, you might make them look a little boxy. So really understand what that face shape is like. Um, your hairline. One of the best things that I ever started doing with my textured clients is making sure that I really chisel out a symmetrical hairline. Because if you look at it, nobody's hairline is symmetrical. Even mine, it's not symmetrical. But when you do a nice crisp outline, it literally makes guys feel younger and just sexier. So next we're gonna go into our neckline. So same thing, not everybody wants to be boxed off. So see if they want a natural fade or if they wanna be boxed off or how short we're gonna go. I'm a barber, so neckline's important to me because that's where I'm upselling my neck shaves. So that's a, a different license if you have that. Next, we're also gonna go into texture. Really understanding the texture of the hair because that helps me with product usage. Like if they're um, super fine and they're using hard up gel, we're gonna have to have a conversation because your hair, if it's super fine, you really don't need this really thick gel. You might want something like blow it up that's more volumizing to make the hair appear thicker. So understanding texture is great. Um, density, nobody's balding, okay? We're gonna learn to balance the densities on the hair. So understanding you know, where it's thick or where it's thin, I actually texturize and use my, my texturizing shears on thin patches of hair all the time to make it blend better. So that's another tutorial we'll get into sometime. Um, also wanna talk about growth patterns. Where's the hair growing? I mean, is it going forward? Is it growing backwards? Or is it opposite on each sides? because that's really gonna determine how I enter with my clippers. Am I gonna go with the grain? Am I going against the grain? Very rarely will you see me going vertically up and down. I'm usually going horizontally on the crest of the head depending on the direction of the hair growth. So understanding growth patterns is really important. We talked about bone structure. Um, I think that really making sure that you understand the face shape is really important when it comes to those creating the right looks for the right gentleman. Calyx. I mean, this dude doesn't want to think about me in his bathroom for three weeks because I cut this guy too short. And someone got really smart on him and I was actually super impressed because somebody cut his colic off. I do that all the time. It scares some people, but once you realize that there's no reason to sit there and fight a colic all the time, just get rid of it or cut with the colic, but definitely define where they are so that you can create the right haircut for them. And then last but not least is eyes and ears. Now he's a little bit young. We already inspected him, so we don't have to worry about that quite yet. 
but eyebrows, I'm staring at them all day long. And the same with ear hairs. I don't want to look at ear hairs. So complimentary, get rid of it for them. They appreciate it so much. It's that detail. And now I've got guys that are always, we'll get into conversation. They're like, did you get my eyebrows? You know, they start to micromanage your haircuts once they really start to like you. But I appreciate it. They keep me on my toes. But yes, eyes and ears, trim them up. They'll always be your customer for life. So what do you guys think? Was that helpful? Let me, let me hear some feedback. Yeah? Yep. Yep. They're liking it? They're emojis, liking us? Hearts. Hearts, emojis, yay. I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for having me. Um, this is a great time. It's a great Sunday. You wanna come out I'm with me? I'm gonna come back on. Come back, thank you so much thank for you. having me. Thank you so much. Good luck, you guys. I really with appreciate your, it. Appreciate you. Yeah. Good luck with your June sale. I hope it's many successes. Um, you can't beat 1099. You can't beat 1099. You can't beat 1099. It's very sexy. So I just wanna leave on one quick note, you guys, and that is this. If you are needing any information at all, remember that you have a Salon Innovations business development manager and I'm going to name them all because they're my really good friends. Margie Hill, um, Renee Lee, we have Nick Steffen, Cindy Hine, Sue Bucci, and Tiffany Taylor. So if you need anything, these people are there to help you out. Thank you so much for being with us this evening and we really hope that you have an amazing yeah. 1099 June sexy sale. And one more thing, what? if you have any questions, yes. when we get back to our hotel, I'm totally gonna hop yes. up on here and I'll answer any questions for you guys. So leave a comment and I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Awesome.